Hello, you find me at Sandy Cove and Glass Hall Station. Today I'm carrying on my journey as I head towards Greystones on Ian Road, Aaron, the dart services. And in this video, we shall be going to Greystones. So I'm waiting for the next train now to take us to Glengarry, which is the first station I'm stopping off at today. So you join me at the first station as I'm heading towards Greystones. This is Glengarry, but it's not pronounced like that. There is an A that you've got to pronounce, and it's Glenagiri. But one thing about this railway station is it does have a very lovely station building. I really do like that, which you're seeing that on screen right now. So I'm just had a look inside the station building and there is something in here that I'm really impressed with. And it's the balusters leading down the platform one. They just look absolutely amazing to look at. So even though this is a nice railway station, I really do like this to be honest. There's not really much history about this railway station. It opened on the 1st of November 1867. But we shall be leaving this station now and head to the next station, Dorkey, as I head towards Greystones. So the next station I'm stopping off at today is Dorkey. And what I have noticed is it's got a nice modern footbridge crossing over both platforms. And on platform two, it's got a lovely station building here as well. Not impressive as Glenagiri's, but it's still impressive to be honest with you. So I'm going to talk about Dorkey Railway Station. This is not the original railway station that opened in 1844 as part of the Dorkey Atmospheric Railway. However, though, it replaced by this station, which opened on the 10th of July, 1854. So it's time to leave Dorkey and the next station on route that I shall be going to is Kilnini. So waiting for the next train now, let's head to Kilnini. like we're actually back by the coast now which is absolutely amazing some of the views already i've seen on this part is brilliant so we have now made it to Kilini. i'm actually not on the platform at the moment but i'll show you the platforms very shortly because i'm actually standing on the station footbridge right next door to the irish sea which is right there but there's a reason why I'm standing on the footbridge and it's to show you the view that's in front of me. Now when I got off the train I was gobsmacked and speechless at this view and I'm going to show you this view right now. Honestly look at that, that is an absolutely epic view from Kilini Station. So 
So after seeing that stunning view, I'm actually back on the platforms at Kilini Station. And it does have a lovely station building as well. However though, this is not the original station because the first station opened in 1858. This station replaced it on the 6th of May, 1882. But when it was opened, it was actually opened as Kilini and Ballybrack. In 1921, it was actually renamed to Kilini. So I did mention that Kilini has a lovely station building, but it's also got a lovely waiting shelter here as well. In fact, the station is just absolutely magnificent in a magnificent area. And I wish I could be here all day, to be honest, but unfortunately, I've still got three more stations to go. And the next station I'm stopping off at is Shankill. So I'm going to head back over to the other platform now, and let's get our train to Shankill. Now, when I was at Kilnaini, it was just absolutely magnificent. But when you come to this railway station right behind me here, Shankill, it just looks modern. But that's because this station actually opened much later. It actually opened on the 10th of June, 1977. And the only good thing I've seen about this railway station is, it's the station building, which is a lovely brick station building. So even though this station opened in 1977, it's not the first station that was here at Shankill. The first station opened in 1854, but closed in 1958. But that station was on a completely different line, known as the Harecourt Street Line, which took trains from Bray to Dublin Harecourt Street Station. Now the next station is Woodbrook, but unfortunately that station is not built yet. That station is going under construction. So the next station I'm going to is Bray. And honestly, I'm looking forward to visiting this railway station. So you now join me in Bray, County Wicklow, and I've always wanted to come to Bray, to be honest. But this station is actually called Bray Daily, and it's got three platforms. It's absolutely massive, this railway station. It's got lovely station buildings. It's got a lovely water tower crane. It's got a painting of Isabar King de Brunel here. I don't know why, but we'd love to see Isabar King de Brunel. And it's also got a signal box, and it's got my favorite thing at a railway station, a level crossing. So I'm now going to talk about Bray Daily Station. Now it opened on the 10th of July 1854 as Bray. 
Now in 1924, it's actually relayed to this station right here that I'm pointing at. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that to be honest or try and butcher it. However though, in 1930, the station was renamed back to Bray. In 1958, services to Harecourt Street Station Dublin ceased. And in 1966, it was renamed to its current name, Bray Daily. I am really liking Bray. It's a very lovely area by the looks, especially with the hills in the background. But most services actually do terminate at Bray. Then they go to a turn back siding to turn around and form the next service back towards Dublin and to the places they go onwards. However, though, a few services do go to Greystones, but beyond Bray towards Greystones, it's all single track. So I'm waiting for the final train now to take me to my final destination, Greystones. So we have finally reached Greystones, which is the southern terminus for the DART services. But also some services do carry on towards Rosslare with intercity services. This station, however, is just two platforms on a passing loop, that's about it. But the station building here is absolutely wonderful to see as well. So a bit of history about Greystones Station. It opened on the 30th of October 1855 as Greystones at Dalgoody. In 1880 it was actually relayed to Greystones. And I'm going to film a train leaving Greystones and then as soon as I've done that, I'm actually going to head towards the beach because it's right next door to Greystones Station. So you now join me on the beach in Greystones. And honestly, riding the railways in Ireland, it's always been a dream for decades, obviously, but to be honest, I've finally done it. I've finally ridden the rails in Ireland and some of the scenery from Dublin to Greystones was absolutely amazing. Really enjoyable, especially the part between Bray and Greystones. And I'm going to drop a video right here for the next video, which I think you should watch. Feel free to give that a click. People on screen now, YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters, thank you for supporting the channel. I've been Cyber Trace, thanks for watching, stay safe. I'm actually going back to Dublin now for a nice enjoyable ride.